So hello everyone and welcome back to the final video of Trading Card Mechanic Analysis. This has been a fun little mini-series that I've been working on. But on this episode, we're going to be going over resource cards, what they are, how they work, and how they completely alter the layout of the games that they're in. Now, with a lot of games and TCGs, you can simply draw cards from your deck, place them on the field, and activate their abilities. And the game goes pretty much like that. It's really simple. However, resource cards change and balance out some of these effects. In some cases, in order to put a combat card into effect or activate the effect of a combat card or support card or something else along those lines, you need to spend resource cards you've been collecting. Well, now you might be thinking, okay, well, what exactly is a resource card? Well, it's not much. But to start with, a resource card is something that you stockpile for a decent part of the game or that you spend and collect. But when one thinks of a resource, they think of a small item that can be built into something else. But now these resources can be things like money, energy, time or something else along those lines. When it comes to trading card, many developers will implement this resource card because it helps balance the game. Because instead of spamming abilities or needing to um, balance a card by having a certain effect to activate, you instead have to pay for that effect to activate through resource cards. And when you look at a resource card overall, it is very unassuming. And at first glance, it doesn't look like much. And to be honest, it isn't much. There isn't that much that goes on with these different cards, and their design, and even how they're implemented into the game, is pretty basic. When you design a game with these cards as a part of the mechanics, they end up being an enormous part of your deck, and it becomes unplayable if they're not there. So now, depending on how these cards are needed, such how you design your game, some decks could require anywhere between a fifth and even a half of your deck, depending on how many resources cards will require. In many cases, you need these cards either on the field or in your hand to activate the abilities. But as a result of this, you're going to need a lot of them. Now, as I was mentioning before, their design is pretty basic. In most cases, you don't even really have it have any kind of effect once it's played, other than you can use this to activate an effect. And that's really just about it. The picture itself is, for the most part, what takes up the entirety of the card. And as I mentioned in my other videos with things like the support cards and the um, combat cards, the picture, while it is a very big chunk of the card, it is essentially what you're seeing and representing as a picture. I mean, we can all think of pictures from trading cards from our youth, it's like the big Charizard card, the Pikachu cards, Dark Magician. You think of that symbol and you see that card. But with energies, that's the whole card. They typically don't have things like effects, barely any things like names, and they're something that you just pool and collect. And for the most part, that's really it with resource cards. They are something that's put into the game to balance out overpowered mechanics. And regardless though, that is pretty much it for resource cards. It's very simple, but it does also add a very unique spin to your game. But anyways, though, that is all that I have time for today with this video and with resource cards in general and with this series. It's been a lot of fun to work on. I've had a really good time. These have been a very interesting way of looking at trading card games. It's really made me see the different archetypes that designers have put into their games. And I hope that by watching this series, you have all gained a better understanding of the different archetypes and card types that are typically in games and thinking about how you can incorporate this into your own games at home. So anyways, I thank all of you for watching this video and I hope to see you again next time. Goodbye everyone.